Hi friends, it's Angela with Wild Violets Art. It's Marvelous Monday, which makes it the best day ever. Um, I'm going to be showing you some more techniques tonight. So um, let's see if there's anyone that's going to join us before I get started. But tonight I'm going to be showing you a different technique and a different bundle. So I'm going to show you some coloring with blends. Blends are alcohol-based markers that are permanent but they have this really lovely way of blending at first i wasn't so convinced because i had been using the stamp and write markers forever and a blender pen but i've come to really love the alcohol ink um, blends and they come in pairs so whatever color they come in there'll be a light and a dark so I'll show you a little bit more about that in just a second. So we are working with the playing in the rain. And let's just move this over. Um, from the mini catalog, it is uh, playing in the rain bundle and it's part of the rain or shine um, suite collection on page 50 and 51 in the mini catalog. So it's super cute, all kinds of little rainy day kind of um, designer series paper and embellishments. So um, let me just show you real quick. So this is one of those bundles that if you decide to purchase it, you get um, something free from celebration. And as you know, there's, or you may not know, there's more to celebrate. They've added more things in there that you can get for free that are out of um, the annual catalog and also their kit collection. So there's two kits in there that um, you can purchase for free or that you can get for free with a $50 purchase along with um, a stamp set and a bunch of other items. So this is the paper, super cute. Here's all the pages, um, let me just show you. So you can see all the designer series paper. It's got, this is one side, this is the second side. So you can see there's just super cute little umbrellas, a couple of pages of little fun critters that are in the rain. And there's some, a couple of rainy sheets. We're gonna be using this sheet tonight. And then this is the embossing folder, the raindrops, super cute. And we're using that tonight as well. And then we're going to use this little critter here. And I'm going to show you how to do that card. But the fun thing about the dies is the dies cut out the critters, at least three of them. So it's this little um, turtle down here. And they've got this really pretty shimmer to like their little slick rain jackets and slick um, umbrellas. And then this guy right here. And this guy right here, the clouds, can be die cut out. So there's three sets of those that you can get from your designer series paper. And, um, and I think that's it. So cute little kite. But anyway, let me show you the cards that I've got for my card club. The bundle comes with this cute die set and stamp set. So you can see these are the same critters that are able to be die cut but this is able to be die cut, the flowers and the puddle, the little umbrella. They've got all kinds of other goodies in there as well. So this is the card I'm gonna show you how to make tonight. And just super cute, really easy and simple, but I'm gonna show you how to make it with a really cute shiny jacket. Can you see? It's like a little rain suit, so cute. And then um, he's got this cute little umbrella as well. And then we just stamped a little bit of the um, raindrops on the envelope and on the inside of the card. So here's some more cards. These are more in my card club. What my card club is, it's a monthly subscription and I send out eight, proj or eight sets of card kits it's four projects with two cards each. So in other words, you'd be able to make two of these, make one for yourself and send it to someone else. Two of these, isn't that cute? Just the sweetest little guys. And then you can see their shiny little, little outfits. And then they have these cute little embellishments and they're little rubber flowers, super sweet. And then there's the cute little 
turtle and the kite. So you can see how cute that is. And then the little yellow flowers. And then this is the designer series paper that I cut out. But these are the clouds that I die cut out that come from the designer series paper. And then of course I just um, use some designer series paper for the back and back of the flap of the envelope. And then this envelope, I just did one of the little umbrellas from the designer series paper. And then there's this card, which is my favorite. I just love cards like this. They're just so sweet. And it's just got this cute little um, bridge that's part of the die cuts in here. It's got the little log and the rain or the grass, but I made one of the little um, umbrellas just overflowing with flowers. And then there's a couple of butterflies in the dies as well. And then I just repeated the same pattern for the bottom of the um, of the card and the same pattern for the, the envelope. And I just colored one flower each. You could do more if you wanted to, but I didn't feel like I needed it. Now this isn't part of my card club, but it's one of the cards I've been wanting to make forever and ever. And of course I've got the envelope. This is, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the, oh, it's the never ending card. So this is the front, it opens up and this is the second part. And then this is the third part. And then this is the fourth part. So it's called the never ending card. And it just kind of keeps opening up, which is really fun when you're uh, <laughs> giving it to somebody. So they're going to open it up and they're going to be like, what? What the heck is this? So super fun. So this is the front. This is the back. You can, um, when it's open to the back, you can put a little message here. But when it's closed, you can see that it's, it doesn't really uh, match up, but anyway, so the, the front second part says, Oh, happy day, rainy days are better with you. And then a place for you to put your little message. So super cute. I had to try it. I watched a YouTube video and, um, and then added my own little take on it. So it was fun to, to pair it up with the paper because there's so many cute sheets. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of die cutting tonight. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna color this cute little mouse. Hey, Christy, thanks for joining me. And we're going to, or not mouse, a little, uh, little rabbit. So we're gonna add some color to his cheeks. We're gonna add some color to his the water. And then we're going to make his little jacket slick. So, okay. So here's my pieces and I'll leave this card here where you can see it. Okay. So this is the designer series paper. And as you can see, it's got these raindrops in it. And then on top of that, I embossed it with the embossing folder that comes with it, which is the raindrops embossing folder. And um, for whatever reason, it's upside down, but you can see that these little raindrop, they make the paper really cute. So it actually makes it not only shiny, but 3D. So it looks like raindrops. So really fun. Okay. So here's my card base and my envelope. Put that aside. So this is the card we're going to make here, Christy, so you can take a look at it. It's also one of the cards in my card club. But you missed the never ending card. Um, I don't know if you've made one of these yet, but it's a fun one. It just kind of keeps opening. So <laughs> it's crazy. I didn't think it would work, but it did. It was um, it's interesting how it works. Whoever created this the first time, it's got to be the smartest person in the world. So. <laughs> really fun. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I want to get the fun little rabbit and I'm going to put him on one of my blocks and then I'm going to get the, the verse out 
And I also need the raindrops. So let's put them straight. So these are the three that we're going to use. Okay. So I'm using Memento ink. Memento ink is really good. It's fast drying, but it also doesn't bleed when you're using a blend with it. So I'm making sure this stamp pad or the stamp is, is inked up really well. And while I have this out, I'll ink up the little verse as well. Whoops, good thing there's two sides of the paper. I'm going to be fussy cutting out so it doesn't matter if I'm doing it wrong. But I'm going to do a second one of the jacket. And I'll show you why in a minute. And it doesn't matter. Eh, that doesn't help me. I need it to be darker than that. I'm going to cover this up with packing tape and that's going to give it the shine. And then with the ink, um, the blends, I'm going to be coloring his little raincoat. So super cute. Okay. So I don't need to color his little jacket, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this little guy a little 3D. So this is a gray blend and I'm going to do his foot and maybe here where the jacket and maybe at the bottom of his neck. And I'm using the light smoky slate and I'm just adding a little bit of shadow to him. And I know that seems really stark. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to use the color lifter because I want something that's just a little bit lighter. I'm going to make some of that go away. Okay. Because I don't want it to be quite so dark. So I want it to blend in a little bit more. If you ever make a boo-boo, this lifter is amazing. Okay. So I'm now I'm going to do his cheeks. <laughs> Thanks, Christy. Yeah, definitely. It'll have to be a class one of these days. Okay, so I'm going to do his cheeks nice and pink. I'm going to do his little nose pink inside of his ears. I'm going to do his little palms pink, his little toes pink. But it seems a little stark. So that's why I come back with the lifter and I'm going to make it lighter so it's not quite so light. And once it dries, it becomes much paler. So there's two ends to the blend. There's a uh, more pointed end. And then there's also the paintbrush end. And you can see how the little cheeks just lighten up. I'm going to bring a little bit more light in to the ear so it's not quite so stark. But now you see is he's white with just a little bit of shadow. Okay, so I'm going to cover this with a little bit of packing tape. And then I'm going to fussy cut the jacket out after I color it. So I'm going to use my light red blend first. Now the thing that's cool about these alcohol blends is that they will color permanently on plastic. And so as you can see, I've got sh um, packing tape over the top of it. So it's shiny. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color his little raincoat. in a light red. And then I'm going to come back with the darker. In the places where there's shadow. I 
actually I'm gonna just keep making the whole thing darker and then I may color it some more to make it a little darker okay so now this is one of the designer series paper one of the umbrellas and I want this to be red like that as well so I'm gonna color over the top of it and I'm using the sweet sorbet so this is one of the new in colors and I'm gonna lighten the one side use the lighter blend okay so let that dry for a second um, while I'm waiting for this I'm gonna do his little puddle and so I'm using the blends uh, the dark balmy blue and the light balmy blue so each one of the blends come in two colors a light and a dark of each of the color so I typically try to start with the light And I might skip some of the areas just to kind of let there be some highlights like the sun shining on it. And again, if you mess up and you don't quite do that, you can come back and you can use the lifter. Now I'm going to darken the edges. And okay. I'm going to use a little lifter because I made it a little darker than I wanted to in the middle. I'm going to lighten up a little bit here. I got a little bit underneath him that I didn't want. So you can see it lifts it and makes it lighter. Okay, so this should be dry by now. And I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut the little jacket out. When you're fussy cutting, <clears throat> a way to make it a little bit easier on your hand is to move the paper around and let it move and leave your scissor hand in one place. And then it doesn't quite stress out your wrist so much and gives you a little bit more control, especially when you're trying to go around something that's curved. Hey, Arlene, thanks for joining me. It's really nice when uh, the boss lady joins us. <laughs> She's not really my boss. Okay. So we want him to just have a little shiny coat. And so what I'm going to do now is just glue it down. Over. And now he's got a shiny little raincoat on. Doesn't that just make him pop? Isn't that cute? Okay, so now I've got his little umbrella. I've got this. I need to add the little raindrops. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to do stamp it off so it's not always the same color. Maybe a little bit more up above. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to do the raindrops on my envelope. And I'm going to start with the darker at the top and let it keep being lighter and lighter as I go down. And then I do, oh, I did want the little puddle down here. So I'm going to add the puddle at the bottom. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the inside of my envelope um, or the inside of my card. So I'll add the little puddle. Thanks, Arlene. I agree. I think it totally pops once you've uh, put that.
that little red jacket on him. So it still gives me room to talk or to write a little message and you'll find the little the raindrops don't get really in the way. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to use these cute little stylish shape dies and I'm going to use the largest circle to cut out my little bunny. So with this I don't know if you guys remember, but when we were doing the die cutting, we're using a sandwich. There's the main plate, which is one, this around, and then there's the second plate, number two, and then there's your cutting plate, which has been badly abused, which is two, so that's going to be like your bread, and then this top part, or this is the cheese and the meat, and then your other piece of bread, so... Then I'm going to feed it through my machine. And here's my die cut little, little bunny. Okay. Oh, thanks, Arlene. I do try to do little tips that help people that are maybe just starting out and um, need reminders on how to create a card. Okay, the only thing I forgot was my ribbon. And let me grab something to measure it with. Okay, so I'm going to tie my ribbon around this piece. And just as a reminder, for those of you that didn't see it earlier, I'm using the designer series paper and you can see the pretty little shimmer, which um, the glossy little drops. And then I embossed it with the embossing folder to give it a 3D for the, the raindrops. Okay, and I'm going to just tie a little knot right over here on the right hand side. No fancy bows today. Okay. I think that's about the right spot. And then I can glue this together. And I'm layering it on, this is a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of designer series paper. And I'm putting it on a four and one eighth by five and three eighths piece of balmy blue cardstock. And I'm gonna cut my little ribbon down. And then I'm gonna pop this up on my card base. no bow. Yes, I torture my class attendees with all my little bows. <laughs> I definitely do love my bows, but I figured this would be a great little card for a guy. I can make it into a Valentine's card, whatever I want to do. Okay, so just putting this on my card base, making sure that uh, my little puddle's on the right hand side. Make sure this is centered on my card base. Okay, so you can see there's just a little bit, tiny bit smaller than my card base. So it gives me some layers. I do love layers, can't help myself. All right, um, now I'm gonna pop up this cute little guy 
and using more dimensionals. Probably don't need this many dimensionals, but I don't like my the center of my little pieces to collapse. So, all right, so I'm going to put this here. And then this cute little piece actually has a die that goes with it. So I'm going to use the dies for that. It has, you can see the little umbrella. And if you remember right, this little umbrella was pink, or it was actually Flirty Flamingo. And I used a blend and made it Sweet Sorbet. And it's shiny already, so I don't need to add anything to it because Stampin' Up! made all the umbrellas shiny. in their designer series paper, which was really cool. All right, so I'm going to just glue this on like he's holding it and swinging it in the rain. Doesn't it remind you of singing in the rain, those old movies that so cute back in the day, actually before my time, but okay. So he's swinging that around. All right, so the last thing I have is this cute little sentiment. Now, what I did is I just fussy cut around this sentiment. So I'm gonna just cut it straight across the bottom, straight up on this end. And then once I get to the script portion of it, then again, you can see I'm just using my my designer series or using my hand to move it around. That way I'm not making my hand all tired. You'll be surprised how quickly it goes if you aren't making yourself tired. Okay, now I glued this on a piece of balmy blue cardstock and then I cut around it again so that it doesn't blend into the white background of this. So just as a reminder, this is what the card that we're basing it on. And then I can come back and I can cut it again, which those of you that are not fussy cutters, this may be like, oh my gosh, Angela, I'm gonna strangle you. But I find that I like having the two layers. It just has, just makes it pop. And you'll find that you don't have to do as much because you're just going around the white instead of all the letters. There, just took seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna glue one side and then I'm gonna use a dimensional for the other side. Because one side is hanging off and the other side is, and let's just make sure we have this straight. All right, and we're done. And we did it in 29 minutes, so actually less than that, <laughs> so. All right. Well, thank you so much for you for joining me again. This is one of the cards that we're making in my upcoming card club. And these are just the cards again that are in that club. And you need to subscribe for my card club by the, the 15th of February. So you'll get the makings to make two each of these. So in other words, you'll get to make one and give one away and you'll get to um so you'll end up with eight different cards so really cute playing in the rain and if you want to buy the bundle it's still available i know some things get um sold out or they end up on back order and it becomes unavailable 
but um, these are still available so make sure you get them you'll get a um, a roll of ribbon so this is the balmy blue and it's got kind of an ombre effect to it as you can see you'll get a full container of the little embellishments which are these little cute rubber flowers so these are something that you would glue on you'll get a half a pack of the designer series paper which is so cute and then obviously all the makings for the card so the only thing that i'll be sending to you that's die cut are things like the for the sentiments the circle that sort of thing so all right we'll have a great week and i really appreciate that you join me if you're watching this later on youtube be sure to click and subscribe and like share it with your friends and um, i appreciate you following me we'll talk to you later